some rain in Colorado Springs later on, maybe a bit of snow and a wintry mix in places like Teller County. Now, as for tomorrow, though, this is the big story when it comes to this system moving in right now. We do have chances for low visibility slick roads and slippery surfaces really all over your porches, your driveways tomorrow morning as we get started, as we have this system really taking over, especially in northern Colorado Springs up toward Denver. So if you have that commute across I-25, if there's any way that you can work from home tomorrow, please do. Otherwise, make sure you're taking it very slow. Make sure you have plenty of room between you and the car in front of you so there's no pile ups. Now it is going to be dangerous and we will have that snow lingering in the gap through the afternoon hours. We get to the early evening though and things move further south. So you can see some snow in Teller County by the time we get to tomorrow evening. The chance for a flurry or two in Colorado Springs. Now as we move further down the southern I-25 corridor, Trinidad will be hit harder than places like Pueblo. So keep that in mind as we move through tomorrow. Things will fizzle out as we get into the late evening tomorrow, though, and we will have a dry overnight for our Monday into our Tuesday. So that is the end of that system. You can see as we have that system moving in tomorrow afternoon, we do have high winds as well across the eastern plains, upwards of 50, 60 miles per hour. But keep in mind, we also have some high winds across I-25. So that gap area getting winds up to 40 miles per hour in the afternoon hours, along with the precipitation, definitely going to have some visibility issues and it will be a tricky drive. We clear out and winds die down as well in the evening hours. So your future snowfall map, here's what you can expect. We could see a couple inches up in Monument, Monument Hill. As we move into Teller County near Woodland Park, we'll see a few inches likely. But places like downtown Colorado Springs probably aren't going to see any accumulation as the ground is still quite warm and will stay above freezing. So as for accumulation in our cities, it looks like we won't see much, but we will have some slick roads out there. And that is the name of the game with this system. Right Right now, though, calm before the storm. Here's a look in Pueblo from our Southwest Motors camera at Highway 50 and Wills Boulevard. Heavy cloud cover, though, indicative of what's to come. 57 for our high in Colorado Springs today, so much cooler than what we saw yesterday, but still a few degrees above average. 62 in Pueblo and mid 60s out in the eastern plains for our highs today. Tonight, we cool down quite a bit to more average temperatures. We're looking at 32 in Colorado Springs, 38 in Pueblo, anywhere from around freezing to the high 30s out on the eastern plains, our mountain towns in the teens and 20s overnight. Tomorrow, that cold front really moving in, bringing us a big drop in temperatures. We're at 43 in Colorado Springs, 30s in Woodland Park, Cripple Creek, and low 50s in Canyon City, Pueblo, and across the Eastern Plains as well. So chillier temperatures for our Monday with that active weather moving in. Now, as for our midweek, we get a little bit of a lull, a little bit of a break from the active weather all to start back up again by Friday, Saturday. So cooler temperatures for our Thanksgiving, but not quite as cold as what we're going to see for our Friday, Saturday with that Arctic blast moving into Colorado. So our seven day forecast showing just that you can see by the time we get to Friday, Saturday, precipitation chances ramping up and temperatures cooling way down to the 30s in Colorado Springs. Definitely something you want to keep in mind, especially if you have any travel plans heading back into Colorado after Thanksgiving could be tricky and we'll keep you updated as this system continues used to develop from the West Coast. Pueblo will get down to the high 30s by Friday, mid 30s by Saturday. Overnight lows are going to be very cool. So if you're doing the Black Friday shopping, make sure you have your ski jacket on, a scarf, a hat, really bundle up if you're going to be outdoors. Monument down to the 20s. So places like Castle Rock, if you plan to go up there to the outlets, definitely want to make sure that you have a way to stay warm by the time we get to Friday. Now, as for Canyon City and Woodland Park, following a similar trend down to the 30s and even 20s by the time we get to the end of the week.